protecting York Region, the mission of the York Regional Police. The York Regional Police, they're not just out there giving parking tickets. Okay, maybe they do some of that. But their main job, keeping the peace in York Region, a place just outside Toronto that's growing faster than a queue for free poutine. We're talking about a big area with a lot of people from all walks of life. That means diverse communities, each with its own unique needs and challenges. The York Regional Police, or YRP as the cool kids call them, are tasked with keeping everyone safe. Their mission statement's full of words like integrity, respect and accountability. You know, the stuff you'd expect from the people trusted to protect and serve. But it's more than just words on a fancy plaque in their headquarters. The YRP is committed to working hand in hand with the community, not just policing them. They believe in building strong relationships and trust. Because let's face it, fighting crime takes a team effort. It's about collaboration, understanding and mutual respect. Together they strive to make York Region a safer, better place for everyone. Building trust, ensuring safety community engagement initiatives. Now, you might be thinking, community engagement? That sounds like a whole lot of kumbaya. And yeah, there are probably trust falls involved somewhere. But it's actually a crucial part of effective policing. It's not just about the feel-good moments. It's about creating a foundation of mutual respect and understanding. See, the YRP understands that building trust with the community is paramount. Without trust, the relationship between the police and the public can become strained and ineffective. They've got all sorts of programs designed to do just that. These programs are tailored to address the unique needs and concerns of different community groups. We're talking neighborhood safety talks, youth outreach programs, even citizen police academies. These initiatives provide valuable information and foster a sense of collaboration. Because an informed public is a safer public. When people know what to look out for and how to respond, everyone benefits. They also have specialised units dedicated to things like domestic violence, mental health and hate crimes. These units are trained to handle sensitive situations with care and expertise. They recognise that not every situation calls for a SWAT team busting down the door. Sometimes a calm conversation can resolve issues more effectively. Sometimes you need a more nuanced approach. It's about understanding the context and responding appropriately. As a community member, I can tell you these initiatives really make a difference. They create a bridge between the police and the public, fostering a sense of unity. Knowing that the police are there to support us, not just enforce laws, builds a sense of trust and safety in our neighborhoods. It reassures us that they are partners in our well-being. Case solved, real life success stories from York Region. Okay, enough talk about community outreach and trust building exercises. These are important, but let's dive into the heart of the action. Let's get to the good stuff, actual crime solving. This is where the York Regional Police truly shine and the YRP has some impressive notches on their utility belt. Their dedication and expertise are second to none. Remember that time a group of art thieves thought they could make off with a bunch of valuable paintings from a gallery? It was a high stakes heist that could have been a major loss for the community. Yeah, they didn't account for the YRP's art squad. This specialized unit is trained to handle such sophisticated crimes. Turns out even art thieves can't resist a good fingerprint. With meticulous investigation, the case was closed swiftly. Or how about the string of break-ins that had everyone sleeping with their hockey sticks under their pillows? It was a tense time for the community. The YRP's community-oriented response team, court, stepped in, analyzed crime patterns and BAM! Their strategic approach was key. They caught the culprit and reunited everyone with their stolen toasters. It was a relief for the residents. These are just a couple of examples of how the YRP is making a real difference in the community. Their presence is felt and appreciated. They're not just reacting to crime, they're actively working to prevent it. Their proactive measures are making York Region a safer place. As a reporter, I've covered multiple stories where the YRP's proactive approach has led to quick resolutions. Their efficiency is remarkable. The YRP's dedication to solving crimes and preventing them from happening in the first place is truly commendable. Their strategies are well thought out and effective. Their commitment to the community goes beyond just law enforcement. It's about building trust and ensuring safety for all residents. 
fighting crime in the digital age, technology and policing. Now, let's talk tech. Because in this digital age, even criminals are going online. And so is the YRP. They're not afraid to embrace technology to fight crime and keep the streets safe. They've got fancy things like automated license plate readers that can spot stolen vehicles faster than you can say Grand Theft Auto. And their cybercrime unit is constantly battling online fraud, child exploitation and other digital threats. They even use social media to connect with the community, share safety tips and even ask for help solving crimes. Because who needs a bat signal when you have Twitter? As a crime analyst, I can tell you that the integration of technology into policing has been a game changer. The ability to track and analyse data in real time helps us stay ahead of criminal activities and keep our communities safer. Section 5. See something, say something, the power of community vigilance. But here's the thing. The police can't be everywhere all the time. They need your help. That's right. You, the concerned citizen listening to this right now, you have a role to play in keeping York Region safe. Remember that time your neighbor's teenage son started a leaf blower collection at 3 in the morning? Turns out, he was just a budding entrepreneur. But it's always better to be safe than sorry. The YRP encourages community members to report any suspicious activity. They've even got an anonymous tip line for those who want to channel their inner Batman. Remember folks, safety is a shared responsibility. If you see something, say something. You might just prevent a crime or even save a life. Section 6. Working together for a safer tomorrow. Collaboration is key, but it's not just about reporting crimes after they happen. It's about working together to prevent them in the first place. And the YRP is all about collaboration. They partner with community organizations, schools and businesses to address the root causes of crime, like poverty, addiction and lack of opportunity. They know that a holistic approach is the best way to create a safer community for everyone. They also have programs like Neighborhood Watch and Crime Stoppers, which empower citizens to take an active role in crime prevention. Because when the community works together, even the craftiest criminals have nowhere to hide. Section 7, Beyond the Badge Building Bridges with Diverse Communities. Now, we all know that policing has had its, shall we say, complicated moments in recent history, especially when it comes to interactions with diverse communities. But the YRP is actively working to build bridges and repair those relationships. They're committed to diversity and inclusion within their own ranks, recruiting officers from all backgrounds. They also participate in cultural sensitivity training and community dialogues to foster understanding and respect between law enforcement and the people they serve. It's an ongoing process, sure, but the YRP is making a real effort to ensure that everyone feels safe and protected in York Region, regardless of their race, religion or sexual orientation. Section 8. Investing in the Future. Training and resources for effective policing. Of course, none of this is possible without proper training and resources. The YRP is committed to investing in its officers, providing them with the skills and knowledge they need to do their jobs effectively and safely. We're talking about ongoing professional development, de-escalation techniques, mental health awareness, the whole shebang. Because in a constantly evolving world, police officers need to be equipped to handle whatever challenges come their way. They also have state-of-the-art equipment and technology at their disposal, from patrol cars to forensic labs. Because you can't fight crime with one hand tied behind your back, right? Section 9. Transparency and accountability. Maintaining public trust. But with great power comes great responsibility, as someone famous once said. And the YRP takes that responsibility very seriously. They understand that public trust is paramount and they're committed to transparency and accountability in all their actions, big or small. They have independent oversight bodies that investigate complaints against police officers, ensuring that any misconduct is addressed swiftly and fairly. They also publish annual reports on crime statistics, use of force incidents, and other relevant data for public review. Because let's face it, nobody's perfect, not even the police. But by being open and accountable, the YRP is building trust with the community and ensuring that justice is served fairly and transparently. 
Section 10, your York Regional Police, committed to service and safety. So, there you have it. The York Regional Police, they're not just about handing out speeding tickets, though they do their fair share of that too. They're dedicated professionals working tirelessly to keep the community safe. They understand that effective policing requires more than just brute force. It takes trust, collaboration, and a commitment to serving members of the community. So next time you see a YRP officer, give them a nod or a wave. Better yet, get involved. Attend a community meeting, volunteer with